We are spot on the early planting date for federal crop insurance in corn in a big chunk of the upper Midwest Central Corn Belt. Burning question today is this, how deep, how deep do you plant corn? And I'm sure some of you are thinking, right here. Let's talk about corn planting depth today. You're on the ground with Rob Seco. There isn't very often a good reason or a good recommendation to plant corn shallow just isn't. Corn planting depth and optimum depth historically would be two inches. And I don't, I don't deny that, though, though over time and experience tells us that you really don't want anything more shallow than two inches. You want no seed more shallow than two inches. So what does that mean you, you need to do? Is you need to drop in a little deeper. So, so just think about dropping in a little deeper. 2.3, 2.4, 2.5 inches to the bottom of your seed trench. And your seed trench is what? It's a true V. So if you can find the bottom of your seed trench with, with a seed depth finder, it's a really, really good practice to get into. And think about it, it's a true V. So how many seed get to the bottom of that true V without the help of a seed firmer or a rebounder? It will depend on size, it depends on shape, and it depends on the position that that seed will be delivered into the soil with. So there is carry from the most shallow to the most deep in any given furrow. So how, how shallow can you go? Again, we'd rather not be, we'd rather not be more shallow than two inches. So the depth and, and consistency of depth is important for four different reasons. Number one, consistency of moisture. So that every seed is deep enough, because the deeper you go in the soil, the, the, the greater moisture content should be. And so every seed has the opportunity to imbibe enough water, which is about 30% of its weight in water, with moisture so the germination process can trigger and kick in. Number two, it's stabilization of temperature. The more shallow you go to the soil surface, the more fluctuation that the temperature at seed depth is relative to the air temperature. There are, there are springs when by any 24-hour period from 2-inch depth to 4-inch depth can vary from 12 to 4 degrees. That's, that's a wide range, and so now your seed has to fluctuate, it cools down and it warms up. So consistency of moisture, stabilization of temperature. Number, number three, better seed to soil contact. Get her deeper in the soil, your closing system has a better opportunity to work and envelop that seed that you've delivered with complete contact with soil so that the seed is able to then to extract moisture from the solution of the soil. And then lastly, it's about where your crown root or where your nodal root will form. The deeper you can get into the soil, the deeper your crown, would, your crown root will form. The closer to the soil surface, it will push that crown initiation closer to the soil surface. And, and in doing so, it'll be warmer, it'll be drier, it'll be more porous, and so sunlight can get to that crown. And as the cells try to divide and elongate to form your most important part of the low ground corn plant is that nodal or crown root system, those cells can then callus off and impede or retard the mass of root system that you deserve for the best performance on your farm. Our suggestion is going 2.4 to 2.5 inches to the bottom of the trench using a, using a seed finder. So you have the best opportunity to reach consistent moisture, more stable temperature, better seed soil contact and better initiation of your crown root system on your corn plant. Remember, the intention when you're planting corn is every plant look like every other plant. And the more variation you have, the more separation you have from date of emergence. And remember, two-day separation from one plant to the other in emergence is 100 kernels on an ear that'll put on 650 to 700 kernels. That's a dramatic negative impact. If we can help you, give us a call. You've been on the ground with Rob Seco.